I read some, I think it was a quote you said once that it was Ted Turner who told you, you don't make friends after your sixties and you have completely proven him wrong. Yeah. And he also said, you don't change after 60. And I said, I think I think you're in big trouble if you don't change after 60. <laughs> right. Yeah. I I'm, mean, 60 is when you start where well, you're. I'm a few months shy of becoming 60. Yeah. Well, 60 in the way I look at it is the beginning of your third act. Yeah. And in order to do a good third act, in order to know how to go forward in your third act, you have to know where you've been. Mm -hmm. So you have to spend a lot of time thinking about the first two acts and even more important, your parents. Why, Why are they the way they are? Yeah. Or were they the way? Are your parents alive? My parents are. My dad is 94. My mom is 91. Uh-huh. And they're out in the clubs every night. <laughs> <laughs> How long have they been married? They, I think, uh, wow. Good, good Lord. Are uh, they the only people they've they got married, married to? They got married at the very, I think at the very close of the Civil War. Uh, <laughs> um, I, uh, I mean, I, I wish I could tell you exactly, but I want to say but it the, was it, 1958. They, I think okay. They've been married, so they've so. only been married to each other. Oh, yes. Yeah. Yeah, that was it. Yeah. That's how strict Irish Catholics, you marry, and then that and is that's it. that's it no matter that's what. That's it yeah. no matter what. Yeah. There were many times I'm still trying to get my mom to divorce my dad. <sighs> um, I call him. I call her every day and say, it's time, go. But uh, she's sticking it out. You're trying to get her on the apps to start dating <laughs> other guys. <laughs> she keeps swiping the wrong way. That's what's ruining it. <laughs> um, finding out, I mean, you know, find, you're lucky that they're still alive. Yes, yeah, I am. Very lucky. Both of mine were gone by the time I started my sixth, my third act. But um, finding out why they are the way they are, how were their parents, what were your grandparents like, how did they treat, you know, yeah. what you end up when it's called doing a life review and you end up realizing that whatever was fucked up had nothing to do with you. Yeah. Yeah. You know, I turned my life review into my memoir and in the course of doing it, I discovered why my mother was the way she was, and it had nothing to do with me, it had to do with early childhood sexual abuse. Mm -hmm. And so I could forgive, Yeah, you know, and that's such a beautiful thing. I think and it's one out of every four women in this country have experienced sexual abuse. Mm -hmm. And it's interesting to try to tease that out if that's part of your family history, which means that you have to interview your parents separately. I think you, the other thing, too, is um, there was such a reticence about talking about anything. I mean, I come from a very Irish Catholic culture, as mm -hmm. you can imagine, and it's the same thing. You Unpleasant things are not discussed. Mm -hmm. You don't talk about them. So laughter is allowed uh, and f uh, and food is allowed. Sex is discouraged and talking about anything that might hurt somebody's feelings is discouraged. Mm -hmm. So you get this strange ecosystem sometimes. And I'm just not my family. It's just all it's so much. I, I just watched the Banshees of Inish. Yeah, I was going to ask you. I watched the you, Banshees of Inish. And, and you identified. I, and, I, and, and it's crazy. It takes place in, you know, I think 1920 or something. And it it's on this island and it's in Ireland. And I grew up in uh, Boston and my parents are very educated people. And I watched that movie with miniature donkeys and people cutting off their fingers and absolute madness. And and not just me, but other Irish people I, uh, that I know, other Irish Americans I know go, oh yeah, that yeah. makes sense. Yeah. <laughs> because we're an insular, crazy people with a gift of gab and we can be quite funny uh, and we get quite depressed, but uh, we come from this island and there's stuff in our DNA yeah. that's batshit crazy. Yeah, I was married to one. My second husband, <laughs> Irish Catholic. How'd that go? <laughs> Beautifully and fabulously for much of the time. Right. And I'm really, really grateful. And we named our son Troy O'Donovan. Oh, there you go. Garrity. That's, that's too Irish. That's yeah. a very Irish name. <laughs> Garrity. He'll either be a playwright or a bartender. <laughs> He's an actor. <laughs> Those are the only two choices, I'm afraid.